Hey, yo everyone, my name is Ilya and I'm extremely happy to share with you how to generate leads and revenue on LinkedIn using the most safest and advanced LinkedIn outreach software, Expandi. So let's start. Expandi can help you if you're a salesperson, marketer, or founder, and you want to generate leads and sales calls. If you're a recruiter, definitely Expandi can help you to find and reach out to potential talents on LinkedIn. And if you're a lead generation agency or consultant, we've prepared and made the most advanced white label solution for lead generation agencies and consultants when it comes to LinkedIn and email outreach. So definitely reach out to us if you, if you want to, uh, to know how to use that. But uh, today, let's go to, uh, to the main thing. We all know that LinkedIn is amazing, right? Um, LinkedIn is the number one social media platform when it comes to B2B sphere. And it's an amazing source of B2B leads. Here is the example of how our clients generate leads on LinkedIn, right? They, they have 36.2 reply rate. And like those people are all potential leads and potential clients. And in B2B, these numbers are amazing. I mean, like amazing. And you can do the same. But when it comes to LinkedIn outreach, you can have a few problems, right? The first problem is that restrictions. So whenever you're doing a LinkedIn outreach with unreliable software or doing it in a spammy way, you can probably face this problem. LinkedIn will restrict your account and you know will block your account and boom, you're losing everything. The second one, it's actually limits. So you cannot blast and reach out to literally everyone on LinkedIn. You have your own limits. But today I will share with you how to increase those limits and reach out to much more people in a super, super safe reply rate and just generate more leads on LinkedIn with an advanced image and I give personalization. The fifth one, oh, sorry, the first one, it's multi-channel. So basically you can combine several tools like email and LinkedIn within one outreach strategy. And it's pretty easy to do with, with expanding. And the last thing is that you can increase your reply rate and just simply to rate more leads on LinkedIn with our advanced features, such as automatically warm up your audience or probably doing some other tricks that I will show to you just in this video. So. Once you visit this signup flow, you need to put your first name, last name, your email, your password, confirm your password, which is easy and obvious, right? But here you need to choose your account type. There are two types of accounts. The first one, uh, if you're going to use Expandi to generate leads for your own company, for your personal project, or for the company you work for, choose I will use Expandi for my company and personal goals. If you're a lead generation agency or consultant, who helps with, who generates leads for other companies, please choose, I will use Expandi for my clients or partners. Why do we have two different types of accounts? Because we have different, a little bit different features for both use cases. And we want to provide you with the best experience. So once you're ready, just click, I agree to all terms and conditions and click sign up. After that, you will see this page where you need to verify your email address. Just go and check your inbox and just click verify. That is, that's it. After that, you will see, okay, your email is verified, all good. And then you will come to the um, connect your LinkedIn account to expand you. So let me step back over here and explain you in just a little bit more details how Expandi works one more time, right? <laughs> but still, there are three types of connecting and doing some outreach and automation on LinkedIn. The first one is Chrome extensions. The, the tools are changing your front end and for LinkedIn, it's easy to detect that, right? The second one is using LinkedIn API. And for LinkedIn, it's also easy to detect who is using API. And whenever they want to ban or restrict someone, they will do it easily. The third one is a cloud-based solution. And that's the path that we go. Just imagine, that we set up a virtual computer for you where you need to log into your 
LinkedIn account and we are doing some actions on your behalf. It's basically the same as your virtual assistant who is sitting um, and uh, opened uh, your uh, open the laptop, signed in to your LinkedIn account and connecting with people, generating leads, uh, you know, handling inbox and so on and so forth. So once you're ready, just put it over here, your LinkedIn account and your LinkedIn email that you use to log in to your LinkedIn account and your LinkedIn password. After that, once you add it, you will need to choose the proxy. Again, we set up a virtual computer where like, and we are doing some actions on your behalf in terms of like sending messages, connecting with people and so on and so forth. And we thought, yeah, okay, it's safe. But of, what if we do this in your location? What if this virtual assistant I just I was just talking about sitting next to you in your office, right? So here, please choose the location and proxy location over here. In the future, you'll be able to always change it. If you're, you know, changing your current location or you're moving or you're traveling and so on and so forth, you will be always able to change the proxy. So just choose it over here. So for example, I would choose, um, I don't know, uh, Belgium. So here, just click next. Here, add the payment, uh, the payment over here, the, like bank card and uh, some payment details, and make sure that you won't be charged during the first seven days. We do have a seven days free trial. All good, cancel at any time, no worries. Once you're ready, just click start free trial. That's easy as this. Hey, it's me again, and yes, we've updated also the campaign creation flow. So let's start from the very beginning. So whenever you have the link, the expanded account created, you want to create your first campaign to start reaching out to people, start building relationships with them and start converting more and more contacts into actual sales leads. So how to do that? The very first thing that you do is basically just go to add campaign. So whenever you click add campaign, here you have so many different options to create and types of the campaigns to create. So basically, for example, you can reach out to your, your your connections from your network, like first degree connections on LinkedIn. You can send open email type of the messages. You can invite people to your LinkedIn event uh, that you've created. You can reach out to those who are going to a specific event. You can reach out to group members. You can create a really, really awesome and advanced builder campaign with so many different options like, hey, Come visit the profile, then in a few hours like the post, then in a few hours uh, leave a comment, then in a few hours reach out to the person, and so on and so forth, with the builder campaign. But when it comes to the campaign creation and the number one campaign that everyone is using, it's a connector campaign. So basically what we actually need to do is we need to reach out to people who are not connected, who, who we are not connected with right now, who a, that's A and B who fit with our ideal customer profile. So we know that they might be our clients from the very first sight. It just feels like, okay, they might be our clients because they have the right title. They are the decision makers. They are in the right location and so on and so forth. So Igniter is the number one campaign that we are going to use. So we click create blend campaign and here, boom, boom, boom. Yes, here we can create our messaging and our follow-up strategy. So the, the, this um, connector message, that basically means the initial connection request message that everyone will see when you try to connect with them. And if they accept your connection request and you become first degree connections, you can also add the follow-ups to them and you can send the follow-ups. And usually we highly recommend you to leave this uh, connector message or initial message uh, in the connection request really, really simple. And, you know, don't try to sell anything here. It might be, hey, yo, first name. You see, you, you can personalize these messages with these placeholders and these variables. Uh, and so we are those in a heroes marketing in the SaaS space, let's connect. Yeah, it's simple as it is, right? So, so the thing is that, yes, 
the real magic happens when people accept your connection request and you're starting sending a follow-up sequence. So here you can add as many pops as you want and you can send them immediately or in one or two days. And when it comes to, whenever it comes to immediately, you can say, whoa, thanks. Thanks for accepting. By the way, how are things going with the organic SEO grows for company name? Yeah, we just continue the conversation with this whole sequence. The next follow-up we can send only like, for example, in one day, right? The next follow-up will be sent in three days. So we are not too pushy and so on and so forth. Again, there's so many different, you know, types of the messages and strategies that you can use and you can always check out our blog where we constantly share it, the real templates of our users and people who are actually really, really good at LinkedIn outreach. So you can steal those approaches and adapt to your specific case. But the real thing is that try to always add at least three from three to five follow ups to your sequence. Always do this because stats show us that people are actually replying to the follow-ups. They never convert from the initial message that you're sending, okay? So that was easy as it is. Created the messages, you just click save messages, boom, that's done. The real question is, okay, how to add those people? And the thing is that you just go to people and here you have three options. The first one, if you already have these people in the Google Sheets or in the CSV file document and you have the list of LinkedIn um, profiles that you want to reach out to, just upload the CSV file. Boom, it's done. The second option is, what if you don't have that, right? You want to find new people, right? So here, you just click Add URL Search. Whenever you click on this, on the left bar, you have several options to add, right? So. The real simple one, it's imported by CSV. So you just upload the CSV file, which is easy, right? Again, this, uh, these several um, types of the search will let you scrape either event. So you can scrape a LinkedIn event, for example. If you go here, uh, just for example, say LinkedIn and uh, events, uh, for example, this one. And we, if we copy this link and we put it over here, we'll scrape all the people who are joining this event. It's almost 30k people, right? Or this one, post engagement. It only means that you can do the same, but with the LinkedIn post. So, for example, if you go here, I can uh, copy this, the link to this post, and I will scrape, in this case, 16 people who like this post, right? That's all really really great growth hacks but the real real thing that you actually need to know and use is you need to go to your sales navigator search or a basic search if you don't have sales navigator but i highly recommend you to get it and find relevant people so for example let's go here and we try to find second and third degree connections who are in the business development and marketing the company headcount is actually really, really small. For example, that's our target audience. And so on and so forth. You try to use a lot of a lot of filters that you have here. You have, um, for example, industry. We want to reach out to only advertising services, right? We want uh, to reach out to only those who have English as their main profile language. And so on and so forth, right? So whenever you do and create your search, the one thing that you actually need to do is just go to the URL, copy this and paste it over here, create the name for the search. In this case, it will be, for example, sales navigator and click save. Whenever you do this, expand the, it will scrape this list of people, will add it to this campaign and will send the messages that you created.